Hello, all you lovely learners in learning land. Tyler from 10thumbspro.com coming at you with another ukulele tutorial like we do every single Wednesday and Saturday. If you like this kind of content, hit subscribe, ring the bell, never miss a lesson. While you're down there, why don't you go ahead and show that like button, who's boss, give it a little click. Today we're learning Your Body is a Wonderland by John Mayer, solo and everything. Printable tabs for this tutorial by becoming a Patreon, links in the notes, link to this direct tab pinned in the first comment. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want one-on-one -on -one private lessons and our other social networks. All right, let's do it. Grab the ukulele, brain and attention span. Once you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break this lesson down together. Come on in, let's do it. Chords. So for most of the song, you're only gonna be needing three chords. F, a chord called C suspended four. So it's a C chord, but we're using our pinky because our index finger is on the first fret of the E string. And a B flat. If that's too hard for you, you can play a B flat major seven. There is a break that is all D minor. And if you want to, you could do the D minor nine. If you like that sound. It's quite a bit harder. The D minor totally works. So does the D minor seven. There's also a pre-chorus that has a G minor and an A minor. In that pre-chorus, if you want, you can take this B flat shape, move it up two frets and play this C, or you could just play classic good old C here. The chorus and the verse follow this chord progression. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. F for two beats, C sus four for two beats, B flat for two beats, C sus four for two beats. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Your body is a wonderland. Okay, so strum pattern down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up. And a three, four, and a one, two, and a three, four, and a boom. And that is the verse and the chorus and the rhythm for the solo. That is almost the entire song. We will play along with that and we will put some lyrics up so you can see how that comes together with the verse. But I want to look at the other pieces before we put any lyrics to that. Do we'll, so, so now that we've learned the progression for the chorus and the verse, we will be playing that with the lyrics. Let's take a look at this little riff here first. We're going to learn this riff, then the pre-chorus, and then we're going to put it all together. There is this riff playing throughout the song, throughout the verse, throughout the chorus, and it sounds like this. Five hammer seven on the G string, and then five and five of the C and the E string. And it's sixteenth, so it's like one e and a one, but there's a rest on the one. One e and a two e and a three e and a. Then on the four you do play four e and a. So so really really slow. It's one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. A little more at the speed. Just like that. And that plays over the verse. If you want to, you can use it as an intro. You can use it with a second ukulele. I like to use it just as a little intro before I start to go into a strum pattern, something like. It's really effective when you're playing with just one ukulele by yourself to play that way. So there is a pre-chorus that goes G minor 
to C sus4. And you play these chords twice as long. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I've seen it written as a G minor six or G minor seven. And I've also seen it written as a B flat six, B flat six and G minor seven have the same notes. So I think G minor sounds the best. Experiment if you like G minor seven or even give the B flat a try. But I'm hearing G minor when I hear him play. So what we're going to do is the strum pattern we're doing, but twice as long down down, down, up, down, 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 up. Happens three times. Then it's G minor, A minor, B flat, C. And I like this C shape here because you can just move that B flat up and even let it ring out a little bit like your body is a wonderland your body is a wonderland use my hands your body is a wonderland and that pre-chorus goes into the chorus, which is the progression that we were doing from the verse and the chorus, okay? So let's go ahead and play through the first two verses lyrics up, then the pre-chorus, and then the chorus, so you can see how all of this stuff comes together. So here we go, lyrics on the screen. One, two, three, four. Literally the entire song, super easy with the exception of that pre chorus, right? Swimming a deep sea of blankets. And if you want love, we can make it. Swimming a deep sea of blankets. Take all your big plans and break it. That's the only part that's different all right except for one little break where we just vamp on the d minor it means we only play the d minor so we do just like that one two and a three four and a four times so 
just like that four times. So let's put the lyrics up. One, two, three, four. back in the song just like that super easy break only D minor you play through it just like that so those are all the pieces let's go ahead and learn the solo now so this is an eight bar solo defined by what is called sixth it's an interval that sounds really great great for soloing and it's essentially the same four bar loop repeated twice with one little twist so the first measure seventh fret of the C string with your middle finger, seventh fret of the A string with your ring finger. And from there you're gonna go to eighth fret of the E and ninth fret of the G. Now I'm using my pointer and index finger now and I slide all the way down to four four with my two middle fingers, but they slide up from four four to five five. Then release my middle finger, three four, one two. Four, four, slide back to five, five, three, four, one, two again. So the first two measures. Okay. And then the end, seven, seven, eight, nine, five, five. But here, instead of doing this, we're going to bar because we're going to play five, five of the G and the E followed by 5-5 five five of the C and the A, then up to 7-7. Seven seven. So we get, to finish this off, so these whole four measures, Okay, listen to the track to really get the timing. Now we bring the next ones up. The only difference is around the third beat, well technically the three E and uh, the uh of the third beat of the third measure here, instead of being five five, it's actually gonna be the 10th fret of the A string and the 11th of the C. So you play The same, the same, here's the difference, but then you finish on the 7-7. Seven seven. So it's just that one little note that's different. Whole solo, we get one, two, three, four. Really cool, really fun, pretty easy to play. And the whole time. Same strum pattern that we've been using the whole time. And that's the last That's the last piece to the song, folks. That is how you play Your Body is a Wonderland by John Mayer. I hope you dig it. Thank you so much for watching to the very end of today's lesson. 10thumbspro.com. Keep on rock and rolling. Have a lovely day. Enjoy the ukulele. And I'm going to finish on a weird little body confidence thing. All of your bodies are a wonderland. Treat them with respect. Don't let anyone else in your temple that you don't want in your temple. It's your temple. Treat your body with respect. Um, don't put trash into it, eat healthy, don't do drugs, but even if you don't have a dream body by popularized commercial standards, that's okay. It's still your body and you should love it all the same. So your temple, your rules, 
do what you want with it. Treat it with respect and love it. There you go. There's my little PSA. All right. Until next time, rock and roll. Great job, all you lovely learners in learning land. It really is a pleasure to have you at this point because that means you learned the whole lesson with us. So congratulations on the hard work. New ukulele every single Wednesday and Saturday. Subscribe, ring the bell so you never miss a lesson. Show that like button who's boss. Give him a click. Click it like, you know, let them know who's boss. What else? Think about becoming a Patreon. Cheaper than a cheap cheeseburger. It will accelerate your learning and it is very much appreciated. And until next time, keep on rocking and rolling. Have a lovely day. Hashtag keep it tasty, folks. I don't have a lot of jokes today. I'm, I'm running kind of dry. So until next time, keep it tasty. Your body's a wonderland. Take care.